hello and welcome to Trigger Point Research Setups. Now I wanted to show you a stock today, Wendy's. It actually came in as a question for one of our subscribers and they had asked about, you know, is this something that we should be looking at? It uh, looks like it has a pretty good overall pattern. So I thought we'd take a look at this from the perspective of, hey, where is this stock relative to where it's been and does it have an opportunity to move higher. So one of the things that we want to take a look at here is first we're going to take a, a broad look at this from a weekly basis. So you're looking at the weekly chart right now, a candle chart with a couple of different things on it. We have the altimeter and we have the radar. Remember the radar is an inside look at the trading of the stock as compared to the price and the volume. So what you're seeing here right now is the overall uh, levels of volume in this area right here that shows very little volume on the upside. So what that means is that when we saw this break above the 614 level on a weekly basis, that there was a significant amount of movement uh, because uh, there was really no resistance at all. And that just moved uh, with very little volume, but it did move up dramatically. I mean, from $6 and the change to about $8 is rather significant. Now, when we, when we look at this and then we take a look at the overall uh, daily chart, well, we're seeing a little bit something different. We're still seeing that breakout that occurred back over on the, uh, let's take a look at about the $6 level right here. And from there, we saw a very quick break with no volume up to about 640 back in July. And then it consolidated a little bit inside of this level between 620 and 660. Now, again, another breakout and we saw right here a, a, we'll call it a false breakout because we see, did see it come back down. Once again, we're seeing inside of the range of $7.80 uh, all the way down to about, eh, we'll talk about $7.15. There was really no volume inside of that whole range because we're seeing no significant reds or we're not seeing any yellows inside of there. Well, now what we're seeing here when we look at this is another consolidation pattern, and the consolidation pattern is inside of our um, altimeter. So we have the, the green dots on the bottom, which is the support level, and we have the red line on the top, which is the resistance level. So the big question right now is where do we go from here? What happens next with something like this? Well, um, yeah, we had a great run, and clearly the trend, you can definitely state that the trend has been, I mean, it hasn't really broken trend from all the way back in July. And at the same time, we're seeing that there's a decent amount of support. But again, that if you do see a break of the 775 level, you have some problems down to about $7 and maybe even a little bit lower. This pattern, though, you could see that there's been some distribution in the pattern from uh, the 12th, right about, right about here, this date here, from the 12th through about the uh, 19th, 20th of August. And what that is saying that is there are people that are looking to move out, but they did not let this drop. So you do have support there. So where are we with Wendy's? Well, Wendy's does look like if you can see it move above, very significantly above the 805 level, probably I would, I would say about 810. I would like to see it a little bit higher than that. Well, then you're starting to break out into all new levels uh, that really has no resistance. Let's take a look at the chart here from uh, a longer term view. This is a daily chart. Look at that. I mean, we're talking about a very big ride. Now, Wendy's has about 12% short interest as compared to the overall um, float. So it's a very highly shorted stock. Its earnings aren't until November. So what is the catalyst here? Well, the catalyst could be a lot of different things, but if it does look to break above this 805 level, there is an opportunity to take a long position. Now, I'll also share with you that if it does break below the 770 level, right here, if it breaks right below there, you have a pretty good downside because there is no, look at, look at how there's no volume here. There's nothing really to speak of that is going to be supportive down to probably around the uh, 720 level. So it has a bit more, uh, you know, risk to the downside when you look at this. But what I would say to you is that if you're going to play this, I would wait for this to break out above the $8.10 level. And at the same time, you can see that uh, the, below the 775 is another problem area. And finally, let's kind of switch back to the weekly again. And, and what you're seeing here is 
that there really is no support or resistance. It has the same basic numbers here, but there's really nothing to see on the core here as anything to play against. So it will be volatile. It's something you need to watch. But if it does break, it could be a great opportunity upside, especially with the short interest that's outstanding.